Welcome back, folks. I'm going to start off this tutorial by going to my apps section, and I'm going to search for an app called Typecraft. Now, I'm using Typecraft because I want to be able to stretch my text upward, so make it taller. Now, Typecraft is a pro app. Uh, it was previously free, so you do need Canva Pro in order to use Typecraft. And if you want to try out Canva Pro for 30 days free, I do have an affiliate link in the description. So in here, I am going to type in all caps, typography. And for the font, I'm going to use uh, Anton. Here it is right here. And I'll just go back. And so I've got typography. I'm using, uh, I'm not using any of these styles, so I'll just keep it at none. And for the color, um, it really doesn't matter what color I choose, but I'm going to make this uh, black. And here it is right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it uh, taller. And I'll choose the horizontal so that both sides go up at the same time. I'm going to place this on my desktop. I'm going to leave it like that. That seems perfect. I'll click outside and I'm going to close that. So now I have my text. Here's my text and I'm going to download this design. So I'll come to download. I want it to be transparent and I'll just say download. I'm going to add another page and I'm going to bring that page back into or that image rather back into my Canva. Here it is right here. Now I'm going to make this larger to fit the screen and I'm going to take this image because now it's an image. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to change the color by going to duotone for the first text or it's now an image to yellow. So I'll come here and I'll just move this up here and change it to yellow like that. I'm going to take a copy of this. So here's my copy. For this copy, I'm going to change it to this pink color here. And I'll just put that right on top like that. I'm going to make another copy. And I'm going to change this one to red. So I'll make it red. And for the last one, I'm going to go to position and layers, and I'm just going to take a copy of that yellow one again. So I'll just click the yellow copy and I'm going to say duplicate. So there it is right there. And I'm going to layer that right on top. So now we have one, two, three, four layered one on top of another. For the first one that I've got selected, which is the yellow one, which is the first layer. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to just bring that right up like that. For the pink one that I've got selected, I'm going to bring that up So I'm now going to go to the top layer and I'm going to bring or crop it from the top and bring it all the way down just so I can see all of the changes that I'm making. And I'm going to crop it right to that point right there. So now I have the red one and I'm going to pretty much do the same thing. I'm going to crop it from the top. And as we're cropping, we're going to see all the different layers.
So I'll just leave it like that. And from the bottom, I'll also bring that up a little bit to expose a little bit. I'm also going to grab it from the bottom and bring it up. I'm now going to go to the pink one, which is the one that we're seeing right now. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to crop it from the top. And I'll, I'll crop it from the bottom as well. And if there's something that you don't like, maybe you want to make more of an adjustment, you can go ahead and do that too. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit more for the pink one. I'm going to bring that up a little bit like that. And you can make them skinnier too as Now I'm going to grab some rectangles so we can go into elements or we can just press the R button and that will place a rectangle right on our desktop. So I'm going to grab this rectangle. I'm going to make it a little bit larger so that we're underlining the word. And for this line, I'm going to change the color to that pink color there. So it's not exactly the same. So let's go to add a color. I'm going to grab my eyedropper and I'm just going to change it like that to make it a custom color in our document colors. I'm going to duplicate that rectangle and put it right below like that. And I'm going to make that red in color. So I will just create a custom color, grab my eyedropper and create change the rectangle to the color red. I'll add another one and I'll do the same for that yellow. So I'll come here, grab my eyedropper and I'll change that color like that as well. Now let's grab this, these all, and let's make this just a little bit larger like this. We can definitely also group it together if you want. So let me group that together and I'm going to add some more text. Now we can add a little bit more of an effect like a white grunge effect. If you want to, maybe you're sublimating this on a t-shirt or you're doing DTF. And if you want to add a grunge effect, to it, then what we can do is we can just go and in, go into elements and search for grunge. And we can use this if we want. So I'll grab that and I'll make that a little bit larger like that. And I'll change these both to white and that one to white. And Let's move that word sliced in behind the grunge so that we can see it. So here it is. Here is this sliced typography effect. It's got a little bit of that grunge effect. Let me just um, make that a little bit larger so you can take a look at it. Uh, now, if you were going to be sublimating this, you, there would be one more step for you to do. You see, if I change the background color, to let's say I change it to blue, we are going to be able to see that white grunge and we don't want to see that. You don't want to see that when you're sublimating. So what we need to do is we actually need to download this one more time. So if we download this and we download it as transparent and I only want page two, let me add another page and bring that in here like this. 
And you'll notice that it does have that, it's got that grungy white. But what we can do is we can just grab that, use BG Remover to remove all of that white. And now we've got ourselves a transparent grunge effect that you can take and sublimate onto a t-shirt um, or a mug or anything like that. So what did you think? Did you like it with the grunge effect? Did you like it without the grunge effect? Let me know in the comments. And if there's anything else that you want to learn, I do have a form in the description where you can request your own tutorial. So you can fill that out. And in September, I'm going to be starting up my live classes again. Right now, I'm just taking a break. And if you're interested in live classes, let me know in the comments. I'll give you more information about my live classes. So what did you think of this tutorial? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, if you liked it, press that like button, subscribe, and turn your notification bells on. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.